Yeah, as, as an aside, uh, the CIA, we've got a, uh, there's a, it used to be called science and technology, right? It's where they create all the gear, all the amazing things. The science and technology directorate at the agency over the years has, has developed incredible things, right? Responsible for the U-2, responsible for satellite capabilities, uh, battery technology, right? All the things that they've done over the years. Um, and oftentimes they'd create just sort of gadgetry, right? Not, and I don't want to simplify it and minimize it, but it's important stuff, but you know, for lack of a better word. And oftentimes there was a concern. We don't want to release this. We don't want to put it out in the field to be used because we don't want it to fall into, you know, into the wrong hands, right? And then they right. realize that we've got this capability, right? So it's much like we talked about before. If you get a, a target in your sights, maybe you want to watch that target for a period of time to understand what it's capable of doing, what it's doing. You don't want to just let out, you know, okay, we're going to... So, yeah, is it possible we developed a new propulsion system and, you know, we're just playing a game where we're saying, okay, we're still working on hypersonics, you know, and air-breathing engines, and we're trying to see what we can do here and... and you know, and meanwhile, we've got this in our back pocket, right? Waiting for someday. Yeah, it's a possibility. In my mind, I think, hey, if that's the case, good on them for being smart enough to, to be uh, that clever and also to be able to keep a secret. Is that more plausible than it coming from another planet, in your opinion? Or another dimension or whatever the explanation is? Um, <clears throat> You know what? That's a, that's a great question. You should have your own podcast. Um, yeah, you know what? Is it more plausible? Um, but I mean, you what, know what I'm saying I, is yeah. like this, it's yeah. so revolutionary. Like, yeah. If they do have this thing that is the ability to go from 50,000 feet above sea level to 50 feet in a second, something that defies our current understanding of at least assuming there's a biological entity inside that thing let's yeah. let's assume there is yeah you know one of the the examinations of the video footage that they got from the jets they said the way that thing took off any biological being would be turned into yeah. jello yeah you which is just, yeah you would be pink mist yeah it's not just the, the g-force it's not the speed it's the it's the acceleration of yes. the, or the stopping that kills you yeah yeah so i think um yeah i i would assume it's unmanned if that's the case. Well, there's no windows know. in that thing. Right. It was completely... Right. So yeah. I guess the answer to your question is... Um, I don't know. It seems uh, a is long it more, time. Is it more plausible than, than being from outside this world? Um, yeah. That's a good question. Because I don't want to deny the fact that... I mean, I think it's incredible hubris to say we don't that there's nothing else out there. Right? Of course. And so I don't want to lock myself into that corner of the room... Um, but at the same time, um, that would represent a massive leap in material science, as, as at least we're aware of it. Right. And, uh, oh, look, I have a call. Um, and um, it, it's, oh, it's Paul Rubens calling me from the... beyond. <laughs> uh, so, uh, too soon. Um, yeah, it's a, great, it's a great question. I don't know. I mean, it's, it, it, it speaks to, again, one of my points that I owe it because I'm so cynical I just have a hard time believing that the US government could keep secrets like that for that period of time right I just I have right. a really hard years. time believing that yeah right so so what what would have to take place in order for the government to be develop something developing something that's so superior to what we understand in terms of what's possible with propulsion systems like how would they fund that how would they hide that how would they get the scientists involved yeah. and the engineers what what would they have to do in order to develop something like this well it would be it would be similar i mean there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to a program right so uh, in, in inside the government and the military you know you develop a program you come up with an idea okay this is what we want to do right. i think this is possible or we're going to work to make this happen. And there has you know, been some discussion of magnetic propulsion systems. Yes. Yeah. And gravity propulsion systems, some, something that d defies what we understand is, is possible today. Way yeah. back in the 60s, they were talking about this. Yeah. And, and, and theoretically. And more recently, too. I mean, there's yeah. been some, some, you know, although theoretically they looked at it in, in, in the recent past and, and said it's just, you know, it's, it's not worth pursuing. Uh, but... Um, to your question, the, the the program concept would be the same. You have that, and then you say, okay, now we gotta 
we got to allocate a budget to it, right? We got to do that. Obviously, it's so it has sensitive. It to be an enormous budget. It has to be an enormous budget. Look, I mean, but but the the known U.S. defense budget now roughly is is uh, eight hundred billion a year or so, a little over, probably mm-hmm. give or take. <laughs> so you should, could siphon some of that off. You would to move some, some yeah. program. You would move you would it to a program. Put it as a line item in some other innocuous program, um, and then that again that has happened when we're talking about developing uh, something as as you know sort of not say pedestrian but as straightforward as like surveillance aircraft, right? Then um, we would you, you put that money somewhere else. You develop the program. You get the the, the team that's going to be working on it whether it's at Skunk Works or somewhere, right? And, but you sometimes have to turn to the same usual suspects, right? Which is why I bring up Skunk Works, right? And you have to do these, you know, because there's, you know, at the end of the day, there's not that many material scientists with that, you know, capability, a level of, of intelligence um, and experience. Uh, and so then you go from there and, and you, you, you know, you work like hell to keep it secret, which, again, that, if they've done that, you know, I consider that a, a that'd be a great win because right now um, we're still trying to play a little bit of catch up uh, on hypersonics, and that's the the next theater, right? I mean, mm-hmm. aside from um, you know cyber warfare and 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 warfare in space, you know, and space has already been weaponized. Hypersonics is is it, right? And so, you know, we're already seeing deployment of hypersonic. And look, to be fair, okay, you know, ballistic missiles, you know, uh, you know that that it's it's all. You know, the difference between a hypersonic and a ballistic missile is, is a maneuverability, right? Which um, creates at the speed, it creates this, this, this uh, the, it, you keep shortening the gap for response time, right? So if you fire an ICBM, you know what the tra- uh, trajectory is. Uh, you know, a, a hypersonic, you know, glide vehicle, you don't know, right? It comes at you so fast and it comes from different directions and you can't predict, so it defeats air defense systems, which is why it's so important. Um, but we're still playing catch up there. So, uh, is this what we're saying publicly that we're playing catch up? And is it possible that we aren't playing catch up? It's possible, sure. I, and again, I would hope so. Uh, that'd be great if that's the case. But um, would it be possible that they would keep that a secret? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, if I was, you know, if I was in charge of that program, yeah, I would say, why, why would we give up our capabilities? Right. right. So yes, to go back to your original, if they develop this. Uh, alternative propulsion system that's and they they and again part of this is the is the material science right because you, you're punching through the air you know at such a, a speed that it's it's changing everything right it's changing the dynamics of flight it's it, it, and 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 it's it is a massive uh hurdle to overcome and but that's what everybody's working on so